afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm hoping you can hear me because I'm outside and there's birds and everything else. So you should have your little USB card reader. Um, if you didn't get it directly from me, Ms. Chastain has them. And I've just opened up both sides and put my little card in. And I have some pictures on it. And you plug it into your laptop, to your USB, obviously. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to switch to screen mode. Okay, hopefully this will work. So I'm going to log into Yearbook Avenue, which I have already done. And once you get there, um, go to Create and go to Image Library. And this is where all of our photos will live. Um, and the more you split things out with folders, the better off you're going to be. Because sometimes you'll be like, I remember that picture that I took. I wonder where that is. So if you have um, more specific folders, you'll be able to find things easier. So I went to Activity. Um, the pictures I took are from my morning English classes. So I'm just going to be able to create a folder. So I just went up here to the folder with the plus sign. Um, and I'm going to name it English. Um, if for some reason you cannot create a folder, that's probably because there's an option on your login that I haven't done correctly. So I need to fix that. And I'm going to break it down even further because we're going to have middle school English high school English and everything else. So I created a folder for my classes and I'm going to go to upload images and then your card reader should show up and um, depending on which camera you took it on it's going to look a little different but I already looked for these and they're in this um, Canon folder. So I click the first one, I shift click the last one and I click choose. And it will pull up this window and it may take a while since it's an external device or maybe it won't. It's going pretty fast. But it's going to be done when all of these yellow ones turn green. So when the last one's done, then we're done. Okay, we are done. And you'll notice they popped up in this window back here. So I also know they're done. Um, scan, make sure they look like pictures, and they do. So you want to always clean off your card um, before you put it back in the safe. Otherwise, we're going to have 14 copies of every picture, and every time you upload, it's going to take ages. So I just went to a finder window, went to my card, went back to that folder where they are, shift click the first one and the last one so I can select them all drag them to your trash, and then you need to empty your trash. And if you don't empty your trash, they don't actually go away. And that is it. Oops. I'm gonna go back to my finder. I'm gonna eject my little reader. And that's it, done. So I'm gonna make this two little mini lessons together and we're going to place a picture now that we have some pictures. So I'm going to go to Create Monarch by Justin's. Obviously you need to lay out your pages before you can put things on them. Otherwise you won't have any place to put them. Um, and then I went to Adobe InDesign. And I will probably eventually make some more um, like detailed lessons like how to take red eye out of a picture and that kind of stuff. Um, also how to adjust the size and position of the picture once you place it. But right now we're going to start with the very basics. So again, I can go file open or I can go to page wizard, which is over there. So I'm just going to go file open. Um, sometimes your mouse won't show up 
Um, usually if you will tab, it will come back. It's just something with it being online makes it hard to, for it to handle it. So I just have one of my practice files I'm gonna work on. And I have a picture box. So over here in the Justin's toolbar, I need to go to picture placer. So it's under photo tools and it's the second one. Um, it's like the box with the X in it. So click that picture placer. It's going to say the image or I don't have any pictures in that folder and that's because I need to change up here where it says team drive to image library. And it is going to ask me to log in again. Okay, and then if you'll remember it was activity academics English and then winter and I click on winter because that's the folder I actually want to open. So I click okay. And then it's going to load my pictures over here. I took them through my plexiglass, so some of them are a little um, hazy looking because the glass was sort of fogged up. But there is a picture with Mr. Jonathan, so I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. So I just clicked it in the window. And I drag and drop it into the green box that I want it in. Um, you can also just click on the picture and then click on the box. Once you get it in here, you can zoom it with this slider, you can brighten it up. You can also click on it and move it around because the, the picture is a little bit bigger than the box so I can adjust how it fits in there. I'm actually gonna zoom it in just a little bit more. I'm gonna dr drag it back so I've got Jonathan and um, James. And I'm going to click OK. Um, I suggest don't do all of your pictures in one picture placer session because you're likely to lose them if picture placer um, crashes. So I suggest placing two or three pictures and then um, clicking OK and then let them place, save your page, and then open picture placer again. Um, you'll notice when I went into Picture Placer, I didn't have options down here in my um, coverage crusher. And that's because you actually need to make what are turquoise boxes, covering up, cover them up with a um, process color box because it will not place a picture in anything other than the green box. So just cover those up at some point um, and then you'll be able to place pictures into them. So that is your lesson. Um, if you have not finished your laying out your pages, I would like you to do that. Um, make sure you're taking some pictures. Um, also there is a um, Google Drive document for you to sign up to take pictures for events. Um, I would like you to do that. I also need I have a little bit of a mix up with, um, I think it's, it's one of the, one of the um, spreads, maybe like sophomore spread. Um, so if you only have four um, pages currently that are assigned to you, will you let me know? Cause I need someone to take that one because the two people that we thought had it um, both have five already. So please email me if you need me and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.